Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year to everybody. Hope everybody had a great, fantastic holiday season. Uh, in front of us today, I have a 2022 Ford Edge SEL model. So we have here the Atlas Blue color in this Ford Edge, which really does it very well to the lines of the Edge. Even though it's an older, older model, uh, it still looks really nice. Uh, this is, you know, really enhances the design of the Ford Edge. And uh, I think it looks really, really good. Now, obviously for 2022, uh, we got some minor changes, not a lot of great things, but um, for 2022, as you can see, this one here is actually equipped with the Adventure Package. Uh, which is a new option for 2022. Uh, we'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, but we also have for 2022 new colors. We have a forge green. We have also a flight blue. And we also have a black appearance pack as well, which gives you 19 inch wheels and a uh, little more sort of a blacked out details. Now this one that we have here, of course, is powered by the two liter uh, four cylinder turbo EcoBoost. And now for 2022, all Ford Edges come standard uh, with all wheel drive. So we can no longer get a front wheel drive version, but basically all of them are, any trim level basically uh, is an all wheel drive model. So you got the uh, the, uh, the SE, the SEL, the ST Sportland, we have also the ST. The ST is powered by the 2.7 uh, liter V6 twin turbo. All right, guys, so checking out here, are we gonna take a quick look around of this 2022 Ford Edge? Uh, as you can see coming around here, uh, we got some minor changes to the styling here. We have a little bit of a blacked out deck here, part of the light here that has changed. Well, obviously this edge came back up front here. This used to be in the bottom here. This was done for 2021, but I believe the blackout is for 2022. So we'll check out uh, those all-terrain tires that this uh, this um, adventure package has. And as you can see coming around here, guys, really nice. Still a good looking SUV. So Ford Edge here. This one has the adventure package. It's kind of something very new for the Edge. Um, obviously, it's like, uh, if you know, the uh, the Explorer has the Timberline package. This is kind of like a Timberline package light, uh, but it gives a little bit different options. Of course, uh, this adventure package includes this 18 inch wheels which are a kind of a, a carbonized gray, which you can see it's got an all-terrain tire, pretty aggressive tire. These are Falcon Wild Track all-terrains, all which I think it's a pretty aggressive tire for a you know, Ford Edge. I think this is the most aggressive tire that Ford has put on an Edge factory. They're 18 inch, they're all the same 245 millimeter all around. Uh, we also have some black mirror caps as well here, part of that package. We have also black, uh, blacked out roof rails. And they kind of they feel like they're uh, painted in uh, one of those you know kind of a rugged uh you know type of uh bed rugged that you have in the back so and guys guys checking out part of this adventure package you get this um active x navy p or a navy bluish type of seats with orange stitching which is part of the uh adventure package obviously the seats are a little more resistant to you know wear and tear and a little more of a, into you know mud and dirt all that kind of stuff if you're gonna take this thing off road so as you can see yes, here we have those off terrain tires so that's pretty cool i like the way the interior is it's really nice interior color and uh, i mean it gives a little bit of distinct uh, basically a look to this 2022 Ford Edge. So as you guys have back here, as you can see, we got the styling here. And uh, of course we got them hidden. Uh, actually it's kind of fun. They don't, they don't resend this a little bit. Usually Ford gives it a couple of uh, exhaust tips in the back. These are kind of just put in the bottom. Um, I think that's kind of a change they did. Usually, you know, Ford Escape all that have a exhaust tips in the back, part of the integrated into the bumper. I seem this one, they don't have any more that integrated into the rear, so. So all right coming up here to the front uh we have led late time running lights we have also led headlights and also we got some led uh fog lights as well this is all part of a you know a little bit of updated front we got all this kind of in a plasticky cover here black matte color we got a bit of a glossy color here for this trim a little bit of a chrome here as well uh and we have of course a black grill here as you can see so it's not pretty, it looks pretty good. Actually, it looks pretty sporty. Obviously, they're gonna black all that out because obviously that's for the black appearance package, but I think this color really does well. And uh, this edge, edge really, really looks good the way it's designed. All right, so, so let's check out the rear of the Ford Edge here. Of course, you got the key, then nothing has changed pretty much. You can see we still got a ratio on the Ford key. Of course, we got your automatic start here as well and uh, automatic opening to uh, click to open the back hatch. So of course, guys, we have here a pretty good size. This is obviously, a, you know, this is obviously uh, done between the Ford Explorer and the Ford Escape. So you got a kind of mid-size in between, but this is actually a pretty good size here. We got about 
39 square feet of uh, space here in the back. I'll put that if I'm incorrect, but uh, really nice size for what you get for this type of SUV. Uh, of course, we got some hooks here on the side, a little bit of pockets, 12 bolts, and we have also, you can bring the seats down with this button, if you can see there. So that's part of it. I don't think the seat comes down, but you also got some extra hooks here and a little bit of storage extra spaces here on the side. We got a light light here for the back. Uh, here in below this, um, for your storage space here below where the tire would be obviously you got a compressor here or a tire repair kit for your for tires i can see we got all kinds of little electronics there as well but you can put some extra stuff here in the back as well you got a little bit of pockets and nooks here to put some extra storage space but um this does not have a, a spare so obviously just part of what you know basically ford puts now either, either some do some do or some don't but uh this one for 2022 it does not have anything so so all right that's pretty good space you know um obviously to bring it this down this does not have the uh you know the kick stem you have to kind of press it back down or you can press the button here as well but this comes down with the key as well so uh, we got the all-wheel drive and we have a rear view camera here as you can see so all right guys so checking out the rear of this ford edge so we just brought that seat down here uh, we checked here and let's go ahead and put that seat up and uh so you can see we got the same type of leather here in the back we got a couple of speakers we got the nice navy pier blue as well in the doors and uh really really cool so let's go ahead guys and get in here check out the interior of this all right guys so you can see this is where i'll be sitting in i'm about 5 11 so it's still got plenty of knee space here in the back uh really comfortable seating here in the area so you can see we got also center armrest which also has a pass through through the rear which is really nice we got that nice leather here which is i love that little stitch is really nice um here of course we got a couple of ac outlets we do have a three-prong home outlet and we have a couple of usb connections a little bit of also as well a little bit of cubicle here uh to put some things here we have a couple of some pretty nice pockets here so this leather feels really rugged this active active x um little leather feels really nice so as you can see we got a nice grayish roof line here and we have of course we got some lights here for the rear passenger so pretty nice interior uh pretty nice room here in the back i got plenty of headspace and uh you know it's really nice still you know still a very comfortable and a really nice i love the size of this ford edge and as you can see guys here we got that, that interior of there which is still bad to still like it you know to be honest it's still a really nice interior obviously that 12 inch screen makes it looks much more modern than it has been so and this is of course we got some leather here as well for the center armrest for the for the drivers this is, which is some black i wish i would have done a little bit of blush here but bring some of that accent here as well but i guess that's different so all, all right, right let's go check out what's underneath the hood of this ford edge sel let's go ahead and pop the hood there Then coming up here to the front, guys, we're gonna have and get this hood up, which at least we have some gas struts to help you out here lifting the hood. All right, guys, not much here to look at, but here we have the two liter EcoBoost engine. This is four cylinder turbo producing 250 horsepower, 280 pound feet of torque. Now, obviously, it's going to the all wheel drive system, and this has got an eight speed automatic transmission. So, you know, basically, your basic motor, this is motor is put into a lot of products on Ford Escape. You know, you also have you know, the Echo Sport, and not excuse me, not the Escort, the uh, Bronco Sport also has this engine, you know, and this is also put in the Maverick. So this is this engine's been put in a lot of different prop Ford products. So, you know, it's a good, pretty, pretty good power engine, you know, efficient as well. This should give you about 22 miles to the gallon in the city and about 25, 28, 30. I'll put those numbers up for you guys up in the screen, but it's a pretty good engine, not a lot, but you know, obviously you got a little bit of light capabilities with the four-wheel drive system. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this hood down and the glide is assisted and we're just gonna close it up to take a look at that beautiful atlas blue all right let's go check out the inside here um of course coming in here we got that active cross uh leather seating which is a kind of synthetic leather uh i love this navy blue color the or navy pier they call it it's also put a part of the uh a bit of that color here in the doors of course here we got some soft leather here on top as well some soft touch materials we got your window controls mirrors we have you know your obviously your power locks here coming here of course you got your standard interior here this is uh basically kind of the same thing as 2021 at 2021 they they introduced the uh, 12 inch screen here we're gonna see in one second here but here we have some lights we got a bit of a you know plastic aluminum trim here surrounding that we do have a manually adjusting and telescoping steering wheel and we have a uh, 10-way power seats here for the front passengers along with heated and heated seats as well so um you can see that cool this is a really cool looking uh, leather and the blue with that orange stitching really really i love the way this, this is probably one of the seats best seats i've seen here on the ford edge so 
Obviously, you can get the black or the white seats depending on the trim, but it's a really nice interior nonetheless. So, all right, guys, let's get inside. Uh, so this hasn't really changed a lot for, except for, of course, the leather for 2022. Uh, we got a little, a little cubicle here to put some phones or something. Of course, we got your 12-inch screen here, and uh, everything else is still really nice. As you can see, some of that leather there, and uh, the visibility is really nice as well. We do have, we do not have uh, the panoramic sunroof that's also available as an option here. Uh, of course, we got these things for your glasses, and we have some lights here. Uh, but it's really nice cockpit. Still, obviously, you know, this is a cockpit that's been around for a little bit. Uh, it's not the latest and greatest, but at least Ford tried to put some technology with this 12 inch screen here, which has a lot of technology. So uh, let's go ahead, guys, and get that started. So we're going to just press a brake pedal. We have a key. I have the key with me here. Press that engine start so we can get all everything going. So, so as you can see, the all lights up. We have, of course, um, our. There's a couple of uh, digital screens here. There are about four inch screens on each side. We have an analog speedometer in the middle. And, um, you know, this is a considered part of the door here, all the door. So we got a pretty decent space here for drinks. Uh, we have a couple of speakers here. And, uh, you know, it's not bad at all. Still pretty nice interior for, for as long as the edge has been, you know, in production, especially for this type of model. So um, I don't know if Ford will introduce something uh, in the future. I might extend this to the 2023 model. Um, I don't know if they'll replace this edge with something else. I mean, obviously they extended it more, you know, this has all been a long in the tooth uh, model. So I know F Ford uh, China has a really beautiful, I'll put, a, I'll put a picture of that model. I forgot the name is Ford the Ford Evos I think it was called and uh, that was supposed to be something a replacement they're only gonna have it for China but I um, hope they expand that model uh, towards the US and Europe so I'll put a picture of that so you guys can see But uh, yeah, this is, uh, you know, I hope they did. I hope they do have that uh, something similar in urban design if you're going to do that. Because this is a proper model for the sell the edge pretty well. Um, obviously, you know, the I believe the uh, the Escape is the best selling one, of course, as Explorer as well. And of course, the uh, the small one, the Echo Sport. Well, that's a smaller one, but I'm sure they're going to have also a replacement for that. We do have the new Expedition coming as well, the 2022, which we haven't seen yet. I, was, I did a small video of that in my, uh, in the, uh, my channel, the little preview that we had in the car show so um, i hope to have some of those come in pretty soon to the dealership all right let's go ahead and close the door well we don't have much of an engine note you can hear that two liter engine nico boost engine um yeah this is pretty tame there's not much of a noise it's gonna be a pretty quiet vehicle so but as you can see that color really stands here it's really nice that atlas blue so all right let's close the door and um we got some AC coming here along so I can cool down my camera because this GoPro 10s do tend to uh, overheat a little bit. But it's pretty cold this morning. In Florida, we're down 55 this evening, this morning. So um, hope that we keep this camera going. Sorry, right, guys. So as, as I just mentioned here, of course, it's got a bit of a leather. It's not bad at all. It feels really nice in your hands. Um, we have also the gauges here on the side, the digital gauges. This one kind of shows your entertainment. Over here we have, of course, you set the seat belts. So you can press OK, we get attack. You can also switch between screens there as well. Um, of course, we got your analog uh, speedometer. Now here in the middle, it's basically where all the things are at. This is this was basically standardized in 2021. This 12 inch screen with uh, Sync 4. Uh, this has got the latest and greatest from Ford Sync. Uh, of course, if you touch it, it's got a really great touch and feel. You know, it's got all kinds of things. Of course, you got radio, we got phone navigation. We do have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Um, there's an owner's menu here as well. And you can also sketch here as well. You know, you can put, you know, get some things going here and write, which is pretty awesome. Um, we also have, you know, blocks. You also, this one also has navigation as well. Uh, this model that's included with this. So um, as you can see, we got a really nice navigation. You can touch it and you can pan out. You know, it's really cool here, uh, the way this, uh, this all integrates here into the into the system. So uh, going here, we get back, of course, you got your phone list. You got all kinds of vehicle settings, general, um, you know, all kinds of great things that this has. So let's go back to radio. Oh, and then we got the radio guys here. This has got a six speaker base system. This doesn't have the optional bang and option system you can put. I believe it's a 12 speaker bang and option. You can option, uh, but it's, it sounds pretty decent nonetheless. 
Yes, it does sound pretty pretty decent. So, um, of course, you got you know the radio, got all kinds of things. You also have your climate control as well. Uh, we do have front heated seats as well, which you can see here. The controls for that right there. Um, the, the, of course, you can control your AC here as well. The fan, everything's here at your fingertips. Your max AC, all that is there. You also got a couple of buttons here as well for your volume, which you can see here. Uh, tone, we have hazards, we have your AC max. Uh, we have also the cameras here. As you can see, we got the rear view camera. Uh, which is really nice. It's got really nice quality and uh, to the camera. Of course, we got we do have some rear sensors as well uh, That also um, pans out. So we go back to radio uh, and of course here we got to tune the radio down here We guys we do have an a USB two USB uh, connections here for charging and for, for, for information a couple of cup holders We have a little bit of a nice trim. This is really nice. It's like a pattern type of trim That's really feels really good and feels durable a bit of aluminum here. Of course, we got your uh, roundel here for changing gears. We got a sport button. We got your parking brake. We got your automatic stop and start button here as well. Um, here in the middle, of course, we have a little tray and uh, there is no connections here whatsoever, as I can see. So they just kind of a little tray that helps you put some stores there. And uh, that's about it. Mostly, you know, everything's really nice. I love the leather. Uh, you got some pockets as well down the door. We have a pretty decent... Um, so I had a, had a pretty decent size uh, glock box here as well. We got some of that trim here as well, a little bit of aluminum here. So it's still, it's still, you know, fairly, even though it's a fairly, you know, older design, it's still, it's still, you know, Ford did, you know, done the best to modernize this edge's interior. So uh, let's go ahead and get, let me see. No, we're gonna turn on the AC and we're gonna turn on a little bit of that to get a little more cooling in here. There we go. So. Um, other than that guys here in the middle of course you got controls and all of your uh, sync system You got your cruise control buttons here on the steering wheel and of course you can put the volume stuff here as well And this is a tele tilting and telescope steering wheel as we mentioned so uh, But other than that the visibility is good still, you know, a very decent, uh, you know size And of course this one having the adventure package that gives you a little bit of extra uh, You know adventure if you want to take it lightly off-road this is what basically this is. This, this has had no suspension modifications to it or anything like that. It just gives you that all-terrain tires to give you that little act. Now you have the four-wheel drive system. Uh, you know, that doesn't have, I don't believe there's any type of settings for the four-wheel drive, it's just a, you know, uh, this Ford's, you know, basically electronic system that just gives you all-time four-wheel drive uh, or wheel drive. So there is a spot button here that we have no types of modes for the uh, for the exterior, basically like the Timberline uh, gives you. This is just basically just a regular all-wheel drive system that, that gives you that assistance, obviously, if you go off road so um we have a small tech here as well so let's go ahead guys and get yourselves in sport let's go out for a test drive let's give you guys a quick test drive of this ford edge sel and um all right guys let's go out for a spin make sure we got everything off here and uh still fairly nice this is you know a fairly quiet you know fairly comfortable car um, the suspension is very nice and, and smooth. Uh, you know, it's a very quiet. Uh, it's just still, you know, feels modern in terms of what you have here, the 12-inch screen. Um, you know, still a pretty decently capable and well-priced. This is a uh, price right just over $42,000. So this is an SEL model. You still got the, um, you know, the other models as well. You got the ST for performance, all-wheel drive, but that gives you a twin turbo V6 from the Ford F150. So I've driven that before and I have driven uh, various models of this, uh, uh, you know, this edges, but this is the first 2022 model here that I get to drive. Uh, you know, there's some changes on it. Obviously you have, um, of course, the, the black appearance package, you got this package here, which is the adventure. Uh, you also have some new accessories that Ford installs now, like mud flaps, first aid kits, all that stuff. That's basically new for 2022. So other than that, they haven't really done anything to it. I mean, uh, it's still basically about the same. It's still not a bad value for what you get for this SUV, to be honest. So, um Especially this this Atlas wheel looks really good. It's still pretty pretty nice modern. It's kind of it's very comfortable. It's a good size. Um, I really really like this uh, this Ford Edge. So and of course, guys, here we got all types of you know information. You can scroll down here. Uh, you can choose you know your basically the highway. You got all times. Yeah, everything's really well. Your fingertips. This is all really well played out. So really nice the way it's paired. And it's got a really nice system. As you can see right now, the uh, the engine shutdown because we have that start button on. 
so as soon as we let off the gas so once the, the light turns green uh we'll be you know the engine turns back on which is something that i really don't like a lot um that's you know obviously it's an option you can turn it off and i think i have a button for that but to me i think it's just you know it's not really something that i kind of especially a lot of new cars have that nowadays so but uh, what can you do guys that's part of just you know trying to save a little bit of fuel which it works you know if you're stuck in traffic quite a bit i'm sure that's a great feature but um here in florida we don't have a ton of well we do have a lot of traffic but you're pretty much moving all the time so all right guys we left the gas we let off the brake and the engine turns back on we're gonna get moving here for a test drive so putting it obviously this is a quiet one and this guy's pretty good torque 280 pound feet of torque at about i would say about 3000 rpm 2500 somewhere around there so it's got pretty nice torque off the line um and it gets up to speed very easily so you know i'm not really floor i'm not even touching the big pedal not much at all and this is already up to speed very quiet um really love the way this uh this ford edge drives still very smooth you know quiet vehicle and let's go ahead and turn here guys and the brakes the brakes feel really good i know ford really put some nice pads in this cars uh my wife does have a 2016 ford escape and i really love the way the pads feel um they have a really linear pedal feel to the pads and the more power the more you brake the more power they give you so which is what i really like um so we have here a little bit of traffic guys here because everybody's getting tested and this is a testing center part um wow look at this line that's pretty crazy yep this line has grown so but uh this uh, this 4 h guys feels really nice um really smooth uh to make sure the traffic's here yeah we're gonna kind of avoid this area a little bit here um but if we give a little bit of gas the torque will not you know really pulls there a little bit it's a pretty good engine uh you know every time in this type of engines they have pretty good power um they get up to speed very quickly so obviously not as fast as the st model but uh, with the v6 twin turbo uh but this has got plenty of power for every day nonetheless so and it's still very smooth you know very quiet um i'm gonna test out the tires a little bit once we get up a little more speed here but it's you know it's a very comfortable car um you know the visibility is great i really like this uh the ford edge so And this guy's left a little bit of a spot here. Okay, we can go. All right, guys, we'll put it a little bit in sport here to give it a little more, uh, you know, a little bit higher RPMs and to, to, so it would be give me a little more of a, give me a little more of a, and this guy here is just traveling slow. Um, yeah, you put in sport, it gives you, the, you know, keeps the gear up a little higher, gives you more of a quick response to the transmission. Um, oh, thank God. This guy's just wandering all over the place here. So as you can see right now, the engine, I'm not going to push it all the way, but, you know, it gives you really good torque at the bottom just to get off, you know, the every, everyday traffic. Um, and it's got plenty of power. I mean, it's for me, it's not, you know, it's not bad at all. Um, and the, you know the the steering itself it feels you know it's not much of a feeling to it but it does go where you point it um you know if i'm doing this uh, it's not bad of a stability um you know still an suv with regular suspension um but even going back to the uh to this uh adventure package we got the, those falcon all-terrain tires and they're pretty quiet there's not much really noise to them you know they feel quiet there's not you know like a high noise from the tires none at all they're we're doing 60 and they're pretty quiet to be honest so very quiet very little wind noise very nice and smooth running edge really like this thing still i mean ford obviously done a great job of putting sound dent materials on it you know quiet tires and you know even for this all-terrain type of tires it's just very quiet ride really like the way uh ford still you know producing this uh ford edges so and the brakes feel really good i mean the the pad feels really nice so 
so yeah guys this is still you know pretty modern still you know for four little over forty two thousand what this model is priced at no it's not bad at all obviously if you get the st those are closing to the fifty thousand dollar range uh maybe a little more so uh but you can check those out on, the, on my channel i did a review on the 2021 edge st that's very fun it's definitely quicker a uh, little better suspension in terms of handling and definitely a little bigger brakes with the more performance pads which, which are available but i still like this actually you know it's not bad at all I, it is an older platform but uh, i think this thing is still really nice to drive and it's quiet and it's comfortable so yep and sport really responds much better much much better and transmission is super smooth as well so yeah we got a little bit of uh yeah 50 miles empty up so no problem we're still good to go so um so there you go guys definitely you can uh you know you can definitely press your command button here and you can say uh radio or cancel please try again radio and it'll take me to the radio so yeah obviously i still have i've really used a lot of it i'm not i have used it in my ford's uh my own personal escape but uh it's easier just to get your hands on the system anyway so um there we go guys driving this ford edge now that we're a little more up to speed yeah it feels still pretty stable uh you know it's a comfortable ride this, this is great for traveling if you have kids uh and all that you know still got a pretty good size plenty of power um you know it's a great suv overall so um for what you get obviously there's a lot of competition in this area um you know you got the rav4 you got you know either the new uh venza you of course you got you know the, the nissan um Ah, I lost the Nissan name for you know you got Hyundai with a Santa all kinds of really good you know competition for this this is older in the tooth so uh you know I know Ford's gotta you know come up I think Ford should keep this and just you know bring that the one from China over you know it's kind of fantastic interior and as uh, you guys saw so I think that's you know it's due for a good update and I think one of like something that will definitely sell here quite well here in the US of course that they can produce them because obviously if you want some of these are this is basically in stock here uh, there are very very few SUVs in stock so of course now with all the things that's happening around the world and production being halted there's a lot of supply issues so there's not there's not much you can do uh, in terms of getting a brand new one here on the lot there are very few ones so but um all right let's just do a quick uh, test of that rear view camera um, Go ahead, guys, and here and back up to this. Um, we we'll just do a quick back up here. And we got to turn our dial to not a park, but to reverse. And I'm not really crazy fan of this, but it's not bad. So as you can see, guys, the, the, the graphics are pretty decent. Actually, no, they're pretty good. Actually, not not decent. They're decently very good. Um, we do have the trajectory lines, as you can see, and we got our sensors as well to help you park. Now, in the reverse, you can also the camera does angle down if you have some hitch or something like that to may help you look that you're looking at parking there very close to something but you can put that back this is gonna have you know the full uh surround view um there's also of course ford 360 which is must have got some minor as well here uh we also have i didn't mention we also have a heated steering wheel as well which i forgot to mention guys i apologize but heated steering wheel as well as you can see right there and uh besides of course the nice backup camera so We'll put this in neutral here so hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2022 ford edge so i'll put some of those newer details of what's new for 22 in the description below guys thank you so very much for watching uh you guys have a fantastic day i hope you have a great year coming up and uh we'll catch you on the next one guys take care bye bye